River Oaks Public School teacher Sally Fairs has been teaching for 30 years. I asked her to look back to the beginning of this school year. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, I've had I, like I've had my challenges for sure, and there and I have had a few tears along the way, feeling like, oh, I really don't like this, and it's really hard, and I think I just had to get over myself and sort of. Um, use a growth mindset like we teach the kids here at school and just, you know, try to make some lemonade out of lemons. You know what? This is just a huge thing just to be in the building and just to be getting the kids here. And so I had to just kind of relax a little bit and understand in myself that it's not going to be like every other year. And I found it really hard in the beginning to be so separated from the kids, behind a mask, behind a shield, um, having a really hard time getting them to hear me. And, and just, I felt like I was totally disconnected. It was really hard. Um, and so I actually have a little voice amplifier that's, that's made it much easier. Inspired by precautions she saw at her gym, she created boxes around each desk with colored tape to help students understand where their bubble ends. Sanitizing is now a major part of her day. Really, truly, our custodial staff has done an amazing job and has got some really strict protocols in place. So I'm not necessarily cleaning the kids' desks or things like that. Um, if I do have to hand them out anything, I'm sanitizing my hands first and then I hand things out and I sanitize again. If someone's pencil sharpener isn't working, uh, I get my sanitizer wipes, I wipe my hand, I take the pencil from them with the sanitizer wipe. And so we have amphibian skin really um, often through the day with the thick coating of sanitizer that we have on. To help avoid sharing, all students have their own implements kept in little bins at their desk. To help further reduce contact, this year organization is incredibly important in the classroom. You know, we joke around when, you know, some kids have more things on the floor than others. And I always say, oh, there's a tornado that's touched down over there. So you better go be a storm chaser and clean it up. And, and so the kids have really had to do a lot of organizing. Fares says she's often called mom by accident at school, and she certainly feels like the mom reminding kids to keep their distance from each other or keeping their masks on. Physical distancing, however, can pose a real challenge when students are emotionally upset. Uh, I actually am sort of forthright with the kids and I'll say, oh, you're getting really close to me and, and, and we'll do virtual hugs. And I'll say, here, I got one for you. Get, oh yeah, do you feel that? And so, and I'll say, oh yeah, that was a really hard one. Thank you, you know, so that's kind of how we, adapt that way. Looking down the road, how would she feel if schools closed again and she had to teach virtually? The spring was like climbing Mount Everest as far as the learning curve for me teaching virtually. So I sort of feel like now I've got some of those tools under my belt. <laughs> so yeah, you know, if I had to do it, um, absolutely. Her grade three teaching partner at River Oaks is currently teaching in a virtual classroom. So if schools close, I'll get you know, more caught up with her and some of the new strategies that she's, uh, and little tools she's discovered, um, because there's so many more new things that we can do with our Google Classrooms. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.